Hi YouTube, I posted up a video recently about my pond um, and I called it part one because I knew that I'd be able to get some better footage because the frogs had just started spawning um, and the pond tends to get busier throughout the season. So here's some clumps of frog spawn. We've got loads at the moment. Um, here's a pair of frogs. These are just common frogs, Rana temporaria. Um, then we've got these um, snails. We've got literally hundreds of these snails, um, maybe even thousands. They're all over the place. Um, it's really tranquil at the moment. They're just sitting by the pond and watching all this happening around us. Because um, the things like the snails, they move so slowly, but they kind of glide across things. It's just really nice to watch. Um, yeah, there's a lot of frogs at the moment. Um, at the sort of peak, I think we'd probably get between 50 and 100 frogs in this pond. Okay, this is a heavily pregnant female newt, swollen with eggs. She'll lay, I think it's between two and 300 eggs in a season. She's actually laying right now, so she'll use her back feet to grab a bit of this weed, wrap it around, and then she'll lay an egg in one of the curled up leaves, and then she'll move off to another bit of weed somewhere else and lay another egg, and she'll keep going like this for the whole season. If you look in the water around her, in the dark areas, you'll see swarms of small creatures. Those are Daphnia, uh, also called water fleas, and Cyclops, tiny little creatures. Here's another frog. Some more snails. Yeah, the snails do this thing where they sort of glide across the top of the water as well, like this. There's our old friend again. I keep coming back to this guy because he just stays in the same position. Okay, sorry about the wind here, it got a bit loud. Um, there's a lot of activity going on, so you see clumps of spawn moving all the time because there's frogs underneath it and things. And different pairs keep popping up all over the place. Here's a lone male looking for a female. I don't think I'd realised just how much birdsong we have around us as well until I made this video. It's, it's, yeah, lots of activity going on. Okay, these frogs coming up, um, I just go from one to the other to show you uh, a few that you can see all at the same time. These are the sort of the cheekier ones that came right up close to me while I was filming. We've got another one over here. And basically, like, wherever you seem to look, there seems to be another one. <laughs> yeah. And then there's our old friend here. That, like I say, this guy stayed <laughs> watching me, like, the whole time I was filming. Back to our lone male. I think he does some good quoking for us later on this one, or one that looks very similar anyway. Here's another newt under the water. Again, look with this like gliding across the top surface of the water with the snails. So nice to watch out in the sunshine. I was actually like uh, in a shady spot while I was filming there because I didn't want to be spotted too much by the frogs. Sometimes you spook the frogs and they just go down into the mud at the bottom of the pond and then it becomes very difficult to film them obviously. Here's some more doing it. I think I basically moved the camera around and was able to get about five or six snails doing this same sort of behaviour. I'm waiting to do this croaking. Yeah, it's pretty windy as well today. Oh yeah, if you want to see a frog blinking again, check out the female first. There you go, blink. And then wait for it. The male as well. I know I said the other day it's quite hard to see a frog blinking, but um, they did it for us. There you go, yay! <laughs> Another cheeky pair. 
Right, this is a male smooth newt, or common newt, which I didn't think I had in this pond until literally today. Um, so these are uh, Lysotriton vulgaris, um, and the palmate newt is uh, Lysotriton helveticus. Um, so the differences between the two I will explain um, a bit later, because we see a lot of these guys, but these are prettier, I think. Here's another frog. I basically just moved my camera around, just filming whatever I could. And I've kept everything in the same order. Here's another common frog. And another one joins in as well. Aeroplane goes over. <laughs> Doesn't seem to spook the frog though. You heard a little bit of croaking there. You can hear quite a bit more later. Um, and actually you'll be able to see the throat sack of a male frog uh, expanding to do the croak. Uh, here he is. So listen out. You might want to turn your volume up. He's actually calling to another male. You can hear the other male calling back. Okay, uh, another big fat female newt. Don't know if it's the same one or not, probably. Here she goes. She's trying to a real struggle to get through all the plants and things. Um, but every so often I think she's again grabbing a bit of weed to lay another egg, like her back legs come around and she seems to be grasping the plant with her back feet. It's another male smooth newt. And it's actually approaching a male palmate newt. So one of the differences is the um, male smooth newt has got a wavy edge to his crest and palmate newt's got a smooth edge. Um, the palmate newt has also got like a little tail filament on the end, very tip of his tail. Um, and the smooth newt is covered in large black spots. Um, very pretty, I, I prefer the smooth newt to the palmate newt but that's just me personally. Um, he also has a very pretty kind of blue um, streak on his tail. But yeah, it's amazing to think that um, for some of the year uh, they go onto land and their, um, their crest absorbs uh, and becomes, you know, so their tail has a sort of round cross section and they just develop this big crest just for their breeding season while they're in a pond so they can swim better to our female newt and now I'm not sure if this is a female common newt or a female uh, sorry uh, smooth I should probably call it smooth rather than common newt um, or it could be a female palmate newt but yeah I didn't know that I got males uh, from the smooth newt in the pond I had no idea oh yeah watch this there's a male coming in from the top male smooth newt watch this is the courtship display so he wafts his tail like this, and what he's doing, he's producing like a pheromone in the water, like a sort of scent, and he's wafting it towards the female. Okay, so he could be confused, he could be wafting it towards a female palmate meat, I'm not sure. Um, but basically what happens is lots of male newts now come in to approach this female, and some of them are smooth newts and some of them are palmate newts, which is, is quite interesting really. It's like they're all fighting over her. So maybe for a, a male newt it's hard to tell 
uh, what species the, the female is. Maybe they just see a female and whatever species it is they get a bit excited. <laughs> so yeah, at this point while I was filming this, I'd seen this smooth newt and I thought, yay, I'm, I've got a, a smooth newt in the pond. But I thought it might just be a random one that just, a, you know, just climbed into the pond from somewhere. And I thought we might just have this one single um, smooth newt. And then uh, as I was filming this, in a, in a minute you'll see another male smooth newt comes in as well. And obviously it only takes me to have one female smooth newt that goes on to lay lots of eggs in all the weed and then uh, I shall have both palmate newts and smooth newts in my pond hopefully indefinitely which would be great so here comes another newtlet from the side so that's a male palmate newt you can tell they have a, a bulge at the base of the tail as well you know, near their back legs. Um, so it's quite obvious they're a male. Here's another male palmate newt just come in. So yeah, as I was filming this, I couldn't believe it. These newts just kept coming <laughs> from all over the place. So yeah, the female's in the middle there somewhere, and all the males are sort of surrounding her. But, and then in comes another male smooth newt. I was really chuffed with this little kind of sequence of uh, filming um, because basically I'm just sat on a bench next to my pond in the shade and I've got this, uh, oh yeah, I've labelled this so you can see um, what's going on. So you, you can always go back and pause it if you want to see what I've, everything that I've labelled but it's basically just telling you the differences between a male smooth new and a male palmate just in case you've got newts in your pond and you're trying to figure out what sort you've got. Yeah so I'm sat on a bench and I've got it's not a great camera it's one you know with a zoom so every so often you probably hear me zooming in and out um, but I can video things that are right across the other side of the pond just from being sat on this bench to one side of my pond which is great. It's nice to be able to get this kind of uh, footage. I know it's not perfect, but it's not bad. There you go. There's the differences. That's the part. That was the palm ain't you all labelled up as well. They quite often do this thing as well when they're swimming. Newts. They sort of glide, and then they stop, and then they sink a bit, and then they glide, and then they stop, and then they sink a bit, and then they glide, <laughs> and then they stop, and it's a sort of ongoing thing. It, this one's not doing it particularly, it, sometimes it's really obvious when they're doing it. Right, just look at all the spots on this male smooth newt. It's really obviously a smooth newt, just from all those dark blotches. I could actually sit by my pond for hours and watch all the wildlife that's going on, but um, it was actually pretty freezing today because I wasn't in the sun, I was in the shade. It looks like it should have been warm from this footage, but it wasn't. I got indoors and I was freezing. <laughs> Um, right, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please check out my other pond video that I did and also look out for more in the future because I, I plan to do more footage and see what else I can find going on in the pond. Um, also, I've done some videos on the microscopic life that's in this pond, uh, so you can check that out. They're already up on YouTube, so have a look at those and hit subscribe to see anything else I do in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.